Well, I'm Chris and this is my painting your tracks as wheels. So I made a video buying an eBay slash if you want to see how it looked before we changed the chassis, rebuilt the motor bearings in there and you see what we're left with tires and wheels that are mismatched. Now they were used. The first thing you do spin them. They spin straight. Awesome. If the tires have tread. Awesome. If it doesn't bother you, that's fine. But if it does, we're going to paint these in this video. So it is chrome plated. So we're kind of rolling the dice with this one. This has been scrubbed with bleach soap, purple power, sprayed down, degreased everything in the kitchen with Dawn. Washed very good when I first got the truck. So this is plastic. We can paint this one, no questions asked. Same thing, wash it down really good. Wash it multiple times before you paint. So if you want the best results, use the correct paint. Use Tamiya lacquer or any other lacquer. Testers make some, but it has to be lacquer. Get you some good masking tape. So you see the way we're masking it, you want to stick it on the rim first, just something to go in there. The hobby knife is probably going to work the best for this. So the most time you're spending on this project is getting that line created and getting it pushed in. So the problem with these is since they're glued and probably re-glued, that line is not perfect. So you just have to get it the best you can. And notice that rim is not perfect either. Make sure you at least cover your tire sidewall up. You don't have to mess that. So if you touch that, get some alcohol, microfiber or a cloth, wipe it down. Okay, so the paint's warming up outside. Let me get this one masked and we'll go straight to paint. When you have parts that are not perfect these are scratched up and you paint a gloss on there you're going to see every little imperfection like this flat black it's going to hide a lot okay, first coat is just your tack coat walk away from that so it's been about 10 minutes you can go a little thicker on the second coat all right all right so we're going to wait 10 minutes we'll put a third coat so we're getting ready to put that third coat on there. Look up to the light at all angles. You see how we need to actually flip the wheel if we're painting it this way. Or lay it down on the table, walk around it. And then I'll put my third and fourth coats on like this. We can go a little thicker now. Go ahead and look at it real quick from all angles. All right, see how we got that matte black finish on there? Looking beautiful. We can take this off. Okay, so this was the chrome one, obviously, because we see some little chrome places. Just touch that up. Look, I got a Sharpie right here. Let's just do it. Barely, barely do it. Up close, you can see a little bit. Look, look at that, beautiful. They don't even look like the same wheels that we started with. So front and rear, this is rear. You need to get you some new wheel nuts because I had the wheels fall off a couple times. So what I found out is that little nylon part was just so worn out, wasn't doing nothing. Look at that freaking used wheel. That is beautiful right there. Okay, so if you have some RC wheels you don't like, just do like I did, paint them matte black and it looks so awesome. That's beautiful, they're staying like that. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.